Hi everyone, I'd like to show you how to configure STP to prevent loops. First, let's see the application scenario of STP. On a network, multiple physical links are deployed between two devices to implement redundancy. One link is the active link, and other links are backup links. Loops may occur, causing broadcast storms and MAC address damage. After a network is planned, STP can be deployed on the network to prevent loops. When loops exist on a network, STP blocks a port to eliminate the loops. In the figure on the right, PC1 and PC2 connect to the network through switch C and switch B, respectively. Switch A, switch B, and switch C constitute a ring network, and STP needs to be used to prevent loops. Let's move to the configuration roadmap. Disable STP on the ports that do not participate in STP calculation. Configure switch A as the root bridge and switch B as the secondary root bridge. Set the path cost of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3 on switch C to 2-0-0-0-0. And configure GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3 to be blocked. Configure switches to work in STP mode and enable STP globally. Let's see the configuration procedure. Configure switch A as the root bridge. Disable STP on GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3 and enable STP globally. Configure switch B as the secondary root bridge. Disable STP on GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 and enable STP globally. On switch C, disable STP on GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1. Set the path cost of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3 to 2 0 0 0 0 and enable STP globally. The basic STP configuration is complete. Next, let's show how to configure STP on devices. Log in to switch A, enter the system view, Configure switch A as the root bridge. Enter the view of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3. Disable STP. Configure switch A to work in STP mode and enable STP globally. Log in to switch B. Enter the system view. Configure switch A as the root bridge. Enter the view of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1. Disable STP. Configure switch A to work in STP mode and enable STP globally. Log in to switch C. Enter the system view. Enter the view of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1. Disable STP. Enter the view of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3. Set the path cost of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3 to 2 0 0 0 0. Configure switch C to work in STP mode and enable STP globally. After the preceding configuration is complete, STP takes effect. Wait for 30 seconds and run the display STP brief command on switch C to check the STP configuration. GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 on switch C is the root port in forwarding state. GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3 is the alternate port in discarding state and is blocked. The STP configuration is correct and network loop is eliminated. Although STP can prevent loops, STP has slow convergence. We can use RSTP. RSTP is an enhancement of STP and its configuration is similar to the STP configuration. That's all about how to use STP to prevent loops. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches thread. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, All About Switches, unquote, site colon Huawei.com in the search field of Google and click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing.
Thank you.